to After History for probably one of the most shortest videos we will ever do in the series. Today we're talking about one of the old playground attractions, the Witch's Hat. Yes, a short intro for a short video. Let's get on with it. The Witch's Hat is this. A wooden platform connected by iron bars that sits on a pole. And on top of the pole is the hinge that is placed in such a way that it can move around the whole thing and move in any other direction. It's a great playground tool. So the witch hat has been here from the very beginning of the playground days of the afternoon, before the fairy tale forest. And well, we don't know what the exact colors were originally, because, you know, those pictures were all in black and white. Just look at those nuns having fun. It's a great picture. But we do know that as soon as Anton Peak arrived in the picture of the Efteling, it was painted pink blue and the top was painted pink red. Now, you might ask yourself, what are pink blue and red? Well, they are colors that were introduced by Anton Peak. Uh, and have been kind of genetic colors that are used everywhere throughout the Efteling. So it's just these colors. This is peak blue and up top is peak red. And you'll see them a lot more throughout the Efteling's history. And as you can see, the witch hat can still be found here in the Efteling. But today it's on a slightly different location because when the people of Laaf came around here in the Efteling, a bunch of the old playground attractions and equipment had to be moved. Like I told you in the story about the children's part. And where did they move the witch's head? Just, you know, somewhere to the right of the people of Laaf. And they just put it there. They did change the top though. It's now a Laaf-like top. Just like on the houses of the people of Laaf. But, yeah, that's where it was for several years, just kind of abandoned to the side of the people of Laaf. But then, in 2007, they opened the nostalgic playground called Kindervreugd, or Childhood Joy in English, to harken back to those good old days of the old school ethnic playground. And where did they open this playground? Well, right where they left the witch's hats and some other abandoned playground equipment. Right between the people of Laaf and Villa Volta. And that's where the witch's hat can still be found today. Now with an added safety ring, but for the rest still the same thing for over 75 years already. And that is all for the witch's hat. Like I told you, it was gonna be a very short video. Well, see you next time folks. That was it. Bye bye! Yeah. <laughs>